time. I love for being here. Oh, it's a little late. It's about almost midnight here in Hawaii. And spirits like, go deliver this message to the masculines or even to the feminines. But I'm feeling the masculine energy, feeling really <clears throat> fed up. I felt like the masculine put their call out to a feminine in the past and she may have overlooked him, possibly because he didn't have enough money, possibly because of the way he looked, or she was just not in her right state of mind. She was seeking something else, but he was right there all along. And so I'm seeing the masculines moving on. He's seeing this feminine as difficult. Seeing this feminine who he once loved as someone who is hindering his growth. The lovers look in reverse. He's no longer interested. And I feel the feminine feels him pulling away. Look at the masculine, the emperor. He's no longer interested, and the, the feminine feels him. But it's like now the feminine's ready, ready. Now she's on the right frequency to see things clearly, to not see things from a toxic state of mind, I guess you could say. Yeah, this kind of toxic shit, not remembering... But this also speaks of the emperor not wanting to reunite, not wanting to revisit this situation. Yeah, look, the moving on, walking away. He's done. And he's in search of the two of cups because this partnership was not that. It was a karmic relationship. It was a lesson. The masculine is tapped into his intuition. The masculine is trusting his instincts now. And he's like, I don't think this feminine is good for me. She didn't see the balance and stability within me. She didn't see that I was able. That I was able. Look, this is the reuniting now. Now he's going off. He's moving on to reunite with the Two of Cups with his divine partner. He's going on to reunite with somebody else. He's moving on. He's going to go celebrate with someone else. Justice. Truth coming out, but he's getting justice for this. The Emperor is getting justice. And the feminine could feel like things are really falling apart for her. And she feels them forgetting her and abandoning her. And I feel that now that she feels this, she wants to go out and search. She wants to reunite now. She wants to start something. Look. But she's using... She's using her manifestation powers to... Manip manipulate the situation, manipulate you into not moving on, even though she wasn't ready. And now she's ready, but you're, you're moving on, you're in search of the Two of Cups. Wow. See, the King of Pentacles, he's making a wise investment by moving on because he felt that things were falling out of place. He moved on before that tower could hit him. He could feel the stress and the exhaustion. It was becoming a heavy burden. Mm-hmm. Now he's... pushing through. He's making sure he's dropping that heavy load.
He's walking with the divines. Ooh, yeah. And this offer is off the table. I'm seeing this as the feminine. Yep, that's going on you, the masculine, moving on. So this could have been a friendship, yeah? Maybe you guys were friends. Maybe you weren't even dating. And the masculine saw you as someone. Or masculine, you saw this feminine. But your friend, this friend, as someone you wanted to date. And she wasn't ready. She didn't see you as that. She didn't see you as the star. She didn't see you as someone who was healing. Someone who can bring in that stability and happiness. Yeah, look. She was worried about it. And then look, the two of cups is right behind her. And it's no longer because you're moving on. King of Swords, yeah, you're moving on and you're going to speak your truth. When the feminine tries to come in and stop you and stop this union from happening, your sacred union, your coming, your reuniting with your divine partner, you're not going to let that happen. Yeah. You have a lot of... Lust for someone. Ooh, yes. Look, hidden. At the bottom of the deck. Somebody who loves themselves. That's going on the tower. So it's trumping that manipulative, toxic, feminine energy. Yeah, the karmic relationships. Now, because you're seeing the growth, with, growth within you, divine masculines, you're attracting a feminine. And look, she's taming that side of you. That, that karmic kind of got riled up. But this is somebody who loves herself. Someone who also loves unconditionally. Every part of you. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Devil in reverse. That manipulating feminine is no longer restricting you that chains that you guys were once bound to has been broken this new feminine self-love that she has for herself was able to help you break those chains now the wheels turning in your favor the tables turned the tables turned Mm -hmm. Quick change. It happened quick. It happened super quick. And that's why that other feminine is so mad. Because they also saw you as... They didn't... They just didn't see you as that. But they don't even matter. Because you're moving on to better things. Yeah, look. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. That's that karmic. Trying to stop you. Yep, trying to stop you from persisting. Trying to stop you from making this quick change. The change in direction. The fool. But you're not having it. You're not having it. You don't even want to hear it. You possibly, you possibly blocked her. You're moving on to better things. You're taking a leap of faith and going on a new path. Get some cards from the Afro Goddess Tarot. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ooh. So this new path comes with that feminine, the self, the feminine that loves herself, but she's also in control. And she's here. To help you cut all that bullshit out of your life. So maybe you had, you know, a few women around you that were toxic. And she's putting an end to all of that. Look, and now you're able to sit on your throne. And you're protected by the divines. Bold, powerful, charming, courageous. There's your new feminine coming in. She's abundant. 
she has her own cup. She has, she wants, she's making the offer to you. And maybe that's something that this masculine wasn't used to, to either. He's used to, to the karmic wanting to be chased. He was having to do the chasing, the offering, making the first move. And she's offering it to you. She's healed. That's why. So she can. She doesn't only want to take. She's not only expecting something from you. Look, this. both of these women have blue on. Someone who is in touch with their emotions. Yeah, not the queen of swords. Not unstable. Could have external stability, but no internal stability. Yeah. She, this juggler, who doesn't know how to make a clear decision, he's like, I don't know what I want. Well, you don't really have a choice. But she was going on the Queen of Cups. So possibly that karmic feminine is watching your divine feminine. Oh, wow. Yep, there it is, the Two of Cups. And that karmic was trying to knock it. Um, take, get that offer off the table. But it, it can't. It can't be stopped because it's divinely guided. These are two people who are in touch with their masculine and feminine energies, both receiving these DNA upgrades. Wow. New investments. New career, a raise, a promotion. So I feel when these partners come in, look at that. Both of you are in partnership with the divines. So when these two come together, even if you weren't abundant externally in material things, when you two come together, this newness... It's going to bring in that abundance. The feminine is in her power. <sighs> Daughter of Wands. Mm. So the Daughter of Wands, she fell down here and she was looking at the Two of Pentacles, the juggling, your karmic feminine. So this new female coming in, she sees her. And she's looking at her, and she sees that karmic as somebody who's very greedy, somebody who's very jealous and clingy, someone who's not open, but wants you to be open. She's watching all of this go on, but she's still standing in her power. She's not going to stoop down to anybody's level, yeah? Because she has shit to do. She's chilling, mastering... Her craft, rewriting her story, rewriting your guys' story, fully closing out that chapter for you, with you, because she's the empress. That's her divine feminine coming in, sons. And you, uh, maybe you're with her already, you know, maybe you got her pregnant and that's why that karmic is coming back around because she sees you starting your family she sees you with someone who you're going to marry or maybe you have already married them you know this is a um collective reading so it may or may not resonate so not all things will fit so if you want a personal reading go ahead and dm me or the information can be found in the description box if this is on youtube so the feminine we have almost all the aces here so very guided in her speaking her truth True to herself. Pure. Oh, yes. Definitely a pregnancy. A marriage. And she's a supreme. The highest of the highest. Wow. That's beautiful, sons. I'm loving this energy. Loving it, loving it. Aloha.